Hey Cap, how's it going? Ready to have some FPV fun? Yes sir, better get all the fun in while we still can. What do you mean? What, you haven't heard? About what? Remote ID is coming. Could be pretty devastating for the FPV community. Oh, well that's just commercial pilots, right? No, unfortunately all UAS over 250 grams must comply. If it needs to be registered, it needs to have a remote ID. Hmm. So the remote ID will broadcast my drone's position? Yep. It'll broadcast identification and location information about the drone as well as the takeoff location. Well, at least you'll have to be with the FAA or law enforcement to receive that data. I'm sure the data is encrypted. Otherwise, that could be quite a compromising safety issue. Actually, the signal will be publicly broadcast. Anyone can receive the remote ID broadcast. It's publicly available and can be seen with a receiver or an app. However, looking up the drone ID and session IDs to identify a name of the pilot, that must be done by a person of authority or by contacting the FAA. But what constitutes as a person of authority, that's still kind of unclear. So someone could trace the signal to me, knowing I have maybe a thousand bucks or more worth of equipment? Well, yeah, pretty much. Oh, okay, okay, but I fly low. That won't be a problem. There are no airplanes or no other drones flying in my field. It doesn't matter whether you fly two inches off the ground or to the moon. Remote ID is required. Well, it should be cheap, right? Well, according to the FAA, it should cost about $50. Unfortunately, that's not the case. Most of the modules that are out now and the ones that are projected to enter the market, they're going to be costing almost double that, sometimes triple. Some even require a subscription, so... Do I need one for all of my drones? Well, the FAA will say no. You can move it from drone to drone, but realistically, that's not very practical, especially with our FPV drones. More than likely, you'll need to have one for each drone due to the antennas and other components. Not to mention FPV drones. They're not really built in a way that you can just simply unplug one component from one place and put it into another place. You can't just take it from one drone to the other. It's, they're just too compact and everything is just, just not that easy. Well, if I'm in my own yard, I'm good though, right? Private property and all? No, even in your own property, you must have remote ID. But I live in a rural area. There's almost no risk in the huge field I fly in. Surely, that would be okay. No, doesn't matter. You must comply. Oh, but I remember they were talking about delegating certain fields that you could fly in. What were they called? Yeah, there are FRIAs, which are defined as geographic areas where drones can be flown without remote ID. So can I just apply my field as a FRIA? Not so fast, Joe. The FAA has noted that FRIA statuses will not be offered to individuals. It has to be an organization or an educational group of some kind. Surely there are plenty of FRIA locations by now, right? I mean, they, they've been talking about this for, what, three years? Well, there are plenty of applications, but currently, none have been approved. What? When is the rule to be finalized? As it is, all UAS over 250 grams must be compliant with remote ID by September 16th, 2023. If you have to register it, it has to comply with the rule. But that's only a few months away. Where are the FRIAs? Hmm. Well, my drones were, were built prior to that law. There, there's got to be a grandfather clause or something, right? No. If you're required to register, you're required to equip a remote ID to it. Is there any practical way for hobbyists who build their own UAS without remote ID to fly them in locations that are not in the non-existent FRIA zones? No. Remote ID is going to be required for any drone that requires the registration. So my options are spend hundreds of dollars on these remote ID modules so that all of my drones comply, which could potentially be a safety risk by broadcasting my location just to fly on my own private property where there shouldn't be any other aircraft whatsoever, or I can fly in a Freya that doesn't even exist? What happens if I don't comply?
Corps needs reinforcements. We are being overrun. Repeat, we are...